Hey there. I have had a weird few days, like good, good days, a lot of progress in my family and just feeling like I'm getting this. I'm figuring it out, right? The walk of a believer. And um, you ever notice the moment you're like, okay, I'm doing good. I got this. I'm reading my Bible. I'm praying. I'm, you know, exercising self-control. I'm doing great. And then you get hit from left field. And um, I'm a worship leader. And uh, if you know anything about online services, they're brutal. They're brutal. Um, I have a very average voice. I'll be humble. A very average voice. Doesn't stick out. I'm definitely more someone who's great in the worship team. But for some reason, God said, you're going to lead. And um, even though it's a blast, I love it. I love to worship. I love to sing. I feel so inadequate. And I'm listening to last week's service. I do it every once in a while just to kind of like, okay, how's our sound? You know, does anything need to be turned up or turned down? And usually it's me. Turn me down, please, sound man. Turn me down, turn me down, turn me down. <laughs> and how oh, it was brutal. Uh, this Sunday, the first song, oh, I was so off. And I just wanted to cry because you chose me to lead these people in worship. How can you worship with that? I am not doing well, Lord. And then I felt like he's like, keep listening. Because usually once I hear the first song, I'm like, ugh, turning it off. I can't take it. And the rest of the service was fine. The rest of the service, I my tone was fine. I kept the notes. I kept the timing. And yet the enemy, right? The enemy's like, you know, what are you even doing this for? You don't have a great voice. You know, every Sunday you mess up. Every, every week you feel like you could have done it better, right? And I've not been to a ton of churches, but enough. And I've also listened, right, to a lot of music. And I know a real artist. And the enemy loves to work with truth, right? That's how he gets you. That's how he hurts you. Am I an artist? I'm not. I'm no Lauren Daigle. Um, oh, what's the name of the new singer? She does so good. Um, in Jesus name, that song. Oh, I love that song. Beautiful voice. I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have that voice. And I just felt so discouraged. Like I'm nailing my walk with you, God. I'm becoming a better wife, a better mother. Um, I'm using self-control. I'm doing good, but yikes, this ministry you handed me. Like I'm even good with children, right? I, I've been a preschool teacher for like over 10 years. So picking up children's ministry was a piece of cake for me. Um, and I love it. And they're adorable. The singing, though, it's so vulnerable. When God asks you to do something that makes you feel so vulnerable and you don't feel up to the task, the enemy, oh, does he swoop in? He uses it. He says, exactly. You're not up to the task. You are no singer. You're no looker. And um, you really should just encourage the church to look for someone else that, you know, you'll fill the spot until someone better comes along. And I'm like almost in tears because I'm, I'm so easy. If you've seen my other videos about like um, when you feel unworthy, that poor in spirit beatitude, I'm always having to get back to God, get back on my knees. And I'm just pouring my heart out on the way to church to make sure it's locked up. And it hit me, Jamie, you're making it all about you again. Not in the sense of ego, right? Not in the sense of ego, like, oh, it's, it's all about me. Look at me go sound great. No, but it's the other way. It's still self when you're insecure. It's still making it all about me when I'm like, look how horrible I sounded. I messed it up. And then he had to open my eyes and I looked in the video and people were worshiping. They didn't notice. They didn't notice. And I even looked back in my memory and I remember it being one of those services where hands were raised. People were worshiping. They weren't looking at me. They were looking at him. My church is a humble church. They don't care. They're there to worship God and I have to get out of my head and so do you because I'm making these videos for even if it's just one of you, one of you out there who feels like 
I'm an imposter. I don't belong here. I'm... <laughs> I am a joke. No, you're not. You're not. God wove you and knit you in your mother's womb. He knows your strengths. He knows your weaknesses. And if he puts you somewhere, you have to trust him. You have to trust him and you have to lean into him. And um, it's a challenge for me. And I put the challenge for you. Lean into him. Trust him. Give it up. And I'm going to do that. Tomorrow is church. And I'm going to lead worship. And I'm going to do it the best way I know how. By looking at him. And worshiping him. And letting them do what they need to do for their worship. And stop worrying about how do I sound. Anyways. Have a good day. I hope you have a great service tomorrow. And hey, if you got a worship leader who ain't perfect, go easy because they probably already know.